Hi guys, I have my India Summer Journals to share with you today. I'm going to try to flip through them very quickly. These need to get out in the mail to a very special lady named Diana. She is in Singapore and I have a very small window to get the mail to her, but I wanted to share them with her and all of you. I will be doing a video with a couple more later on that I have other uses for, um, including one that will go in the Etsy shop, but this is a set of 12. It's the same um, size as the other ones that I've done, Summer Wood and um, early summer so let's just get right in because it's going to take quite a while as it is this one is um, the first one it's called mandala and it has an embroidered I did this on my machine on my embroidery machine doll mandala on the spine and this is the only one with a closure and that is not lined it has eyelets and an elephant charm and it can tie closed but you can see the beautiful stitching on the inside so it is not lined um, here is a Tsunami Rose Tuck Spot and some book pages on Gandhi. This is inspired by India. So um, just things that made me think of the Far East and India and travel and I don't know, just imagination. Here's one in my little secret pockets. I have a video on that on my channel. Here's another Tsunami Rose Tuck Spot with a little elephant card in there. Lots of coloring book pages and coffee dyed paper and um, just all sorts of things. Lots of cool transfer. I did try to do some like mosaic type transfer on the coffee dye. Here's a big embossed pocket that says discover. I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as possible. Um, here is a copy of uh, The Secret Garden, a vintage book cover from that on, uh, backed on coffee dyed paper because she grew up in India. So here's an elephant stamp, a nice deep pocket for pictures or receipts or things of the like. There's a map tag. And that's the end of that one. I might not have them all exactly in order, kind of try, but this was also done on my machine, this half mandala here, and then it was cut out and adhered to the front with a silver star and some ribbon there. This one is called Shining Star. You'll see some light blue bird transfer on this coffee dye paper as well. The lighting outside is doing weird things, so... I apologize about that. This is uh, from Around the World in 80 Days, which, of course, they traveled to India. Some Tsunami Rose Flowers. Another secret pocket. Really cool transfer effect here. Dictionary paper. These are um, vintage encyclopedia entries about India. This elephant is from uh, Digital Collage Club, and I will link her Etsy shop and her website below. This paper, I really uh, wish you could see it in person, but it kind of looks like mother of pearl. And I did that coffee dyeing effect by adding purple sugar sprinkles to the paper after I dipped it in the coffee and they melted in the oven. So that was super cool. The effect it turned into different colors. You can see light blue birds here in the background. Tsunami rose flower. Some more of that beautiful coffee dyed paper. Here's a vintage um, picture of an Indian woman. transfer and a Tim Holtz vocabulary card, secret pocket. I wish I could go a little slower through it, but with 12 of them around the world in 80 days, there's that one. Um, this one here, this is actually number four, but this one's called peaceful words. Here's a ribbon, like a dictionary page ribbon right there. And then this chipboard with a rhinestone. And she wanted her name in each of the journals somewhere. So I put it in different places. Lots of, lots of space for journaling. This is from the Jungle Book. When the sugar on the paper will start to burn in the oven. And so you kind of got to watch it, but that's kind of cool too. Journaling card, Tim Holtz card, Jungle Book. And here's a little collage. Lots of uh, beautiful transfer and things to look at. I tried to do multiple. Oh, there goes my light. My baby grabbed it. There's no way I can get this filmed without incident today. 
Here's some mandalas from the Digital Collage Club, and I sewed them and put them on the side here. Elephant stamp. I know I was saying something, and I can't remember. He's about to unplug my light. Here's a Tsunami Rose flower and a paint chip sample on there. This is from the Jungle Book. Pretty transfer. Oh, yes, I think I was saying that i trying to do a lot of different coffee dyed effects in this. Here's one of those elephants from the Digital Collage Club stitched onto a vintage encyclopedia page. And I think this one's called Blue Elephant. This is number three. It's a little out of order here, but it doesn't really matter. Here's a really pretty red pocket with a mandala and this beautiful India la Indian lady on a tag. Losing my light. Okay. I am not starting this over. I've already started filming over again. <laughs> we will get through it. There's an elephant around the world in 80 days. See, here's it starts to burn, the sugar, and it's really pretty. If you let it go too much, paper gets really brittle, and I'll show you that too. There's a text spot there. There's a um, flag from India, encyclopedia pages. Some more of those mandalas stamp that says adventure some really old Indian dude I don't know who he is but thought it was kind of cool Mr. Page there we go lots of cool coffee dyeing transfer effect tsunami rose flowers I punched a hole and tied a purple ribbon in that corner and that's that one this one, I love how this cover came out. This is a vintage image from the Graphics Fairy. And um, I call this one Indian Beauty. There's some tool, shiny tool behind her as well. And this is from uh, Jungle Book. These, This is Indian Currency, the rupee there, and making that tuck pocket. Tuck pocket? Is that, is that a word? And there's a Secret Garden book cover again. A uh, little gold bow. Lots of coloring book pages. This is cool. This has um, an elephant charm on the paper clip yeah. and then a paper clip hanging from the elephant with a purple mandala on there. The whoever wrote on this music, we get to keep it that way. All right, let's see, more, 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 lots of coloring. Uh, this is an encyclopedia page pocket and a little trifold journaling spot with some rhinestone trim. This was quite the project, you guys. 12 of them. This is um, mandalas from the Digital Collage Club and I just turned that into a little journaling spot. This is from the Jungle Book. And there's that one. Then there's this one. There's some chevron ribbon around it with zigzag stitching and this chipboard piece in the middle. This is called Reflection. This is actually number eight. My pile is not in order. There's a butterfly. Encyclopedia pages and secret pocket, paint chip, a little yellow butterfly on that clip. All right, let's see here. Okay, this this is the example of the super, super yeah. burned paper. Super. If I were to like bend it at all, it would break. So I don't expect this to last. It's just kind of cool to look at. Here's a little uh, black garment pin with some beads and this um, glitter heart. Tsunami Rose tuck spot and this is a Vintage map. Well, a printout of one anyway, not the real thing. Cool transfer, dictionary paper, journaling prompts and sayings and stamping. Here, this is that very old paper I don't expect to last, but I made a little tuck spot and a tag out of it. And then I did some stenciling here. Lots of pretty things to look at. Here's a, a journaling spot flip out. 
And this is a little frame. You can take a picture behind that. It says every day. More stenciling. More coloring. Another hidden pocket. A little sticker here in the corner. There's that one. This one here has a stitched on mandala um, from a paper pad from Michaels, some Tim Holtz sayings and ribbon. This ribbon goes all the way around the back and buttons. And this one is called Journey. There's a pretty journaling card there. There's a tuck spot from another one of those digital collage club elephants. Uh, this is about the Asian elephant here. Here's a journaling card that I made with some burlap and then paint chips inside. You can journal in it, put pictures in it probably, you know. Stamping. Here's a little envelope that I made with a little piece of ribbon. My baby's talking about it in the background. Around the World in 80 Days uh, by Jules Verne. Stamping, more around the world in 80 days, encyclopedia pages, workbook pages. Here's a map journaling spot, lots of room for photos and journaling. Tag and a picture of an elephant clipped on there. This, I love this page with this transfer effect with the coffee and silver spray. Here's a little journaling. Um, envelope and a tuck spot. And that's that one. We are getting there. Okay, this one here is called Airmail. Here's a printout of a vintage map of India, Tim Holtz Airmail. I tied on this little uh, tassel I made and then it's backed with some Hobby Lobby map paper. And this one's called, yeah, I said it was called Airmail. And this is about, I think, Kipling. Here's an elephant clipped on there and made a triangle just to be different. This is really pretty. I tried to do like a mosaic tile effect on the coffee paper. Here's a, a pocket with a little sewn envelope and a little flower clipped on there. Lots of, lots of colors to look at, lots of places to write. Here's a big tech spot. I was thinking photos, receipts, tickets, things that you wanted to keep safe, stenciling here, washi. This is a distressed doily with um, an elephant stamp. Some rhinestones going down in size, stenciling. I tried to um, kind of keep the same theme going throughout. Here's some of that delicate burnt paper there too, just on the edge but yet have each one unique at the same time. This is You're My Sunshine. So there's that one. And then this one's really pretty. This is um, what I used actually for the stencil. So there's glimmer mist all over it and a gold bow. And this one is called Simple Gift. Lots of pretty transfer. There's a mandala clipped on there. The Jungle Book. Here is a um, stamped and sewn tuck spot. Dictionary page, some elephants. This is like a photo mat to put a photo. Some washi and a button. Um, I flipped this page up here and I just stuck this there to show you could stick some tickets or something small in there. Here's a tag tuck spot with, this is a piece of the really pretty pearlized um, coffee paper with a little bit of burning on it. Stamp that says adventure and there's a little like rip there. Some burlap ribbon I made with a uh, button, sort of like a flat back button. Here's a tsunami rose sewn, this is sewn here along the edge and glued on tuck spot. Lots of transfer. Uh, Mowgli. So this is the Jungle Book. Here's a embossed 
rhinestone tuck spot and I made a paint chip tag um, with whites and grays, a gold bow and a silver music note. Lots of coloring. And that's that one. I think we have three left. This is, I used my silhouette and I found an image of India and I traced in, or print, yeah, I traced it and I had it cut out of wallpaper. And so that's India here and then that stitched around and it says away. And this one is called away. And this is cool. This is a corner tuck spot, but it also opens up for journaling. So you could put a photo and then maybe journal about it here. Here's a little tag clipped on there. Lots of pretty transfer. Here's a punch out with a flat back around the world in 80 days. Some ribbon and buttons and rhinestones. Another elephant and a little journaling paper. Some stenciling. You know, more variations on a theme. Half mandala, variations on a theme different ways to do the same thing and have it all coordinate, but look different as well. This is stamped on a punch out to make a mandala. This is around the world in 80 days. Some cool coffee dyed paper, more cool coffee dyed paper. And that's that one, two left. This one has a tag on the front. They're stenciling over this patterned paper, some stitching, a button, and then this says story. And it's called story. So here is a side belly band with a shake, a shake charmer, a snake charmer tag that I took from a vintage um, encyclopedia. Some stamping, some pretty ribbons on these paper clips. This is printed from a um, old jungle book or one of Kipling's works here, Two Tigers. Stenciling, hidden pocket, stamping. Here's a stenciled um, pattern paper tuck spot with a little green tag in there. Uh, this is the jungle book. This is, I like, I liked how this came out. This is um, a garment pin with some ribbons and a bead. Lots of pretty coffee dyed paper. There's a little taper ribbon and thing there. Punched a heart out here. You can see the secret pocket through there. Journaling prompts. Here's a tsunami rose flower. I punched out tag punch there. More stenciling. This is a corner or a yeah, a corner tuck spot pocket from a paint chip. This is regal purple. And then the other part of it is here to make a tuck spot, and that is vivid violet and royal iris. Another one of those fold out tuck spots. This is um wallpaper lined. Really pretty. One left. This one here. This is um, Queen Victoria Becomes Empress of India. And this is all like history from a 1950s textbook, some silver ribbons, some um, goldish rhinestones. And this one's called History. This is stenciled here on the inside. This is beautiful pearlized paper that I did with that sugar, purple sugar. Here's a corner pocket with a tag. Corner tuck spot around the world in 80 days. Beautiful paper, some coloring pages, transfer effects, folded over pages, a map tag stapled on there, little collage. We are getting there. An elephant. This is from a old animal book I have. Here's a journaling page that's stamped on. It says believe. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that paper is. And it's so like rich and thick feeling. That's from that purple sugar. Melted on there and pearlized. And 
that is the end my friends so I'm really proud of these. I'm going to get them packaged up right away and out to Diana. I hope you enjoy them, Diana. I hope that um, you enjoy all of the little things I put in there and finding your name in every book. I do have three um, covers left and there's two wallpaper ones and then a yellow one that I'll stencil on. And um, I think I mentioned it in yesterday's video, but I'm going to be doing one as a gift for a friend, one as a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers, and one for you guys on my Etsy store. So it will probably take me another day or two to finish these, and um, I will film a video about that. But I wanted to get these out to Diana. So I hope you have a wonderful time. We've been here for 20 minutes. Thank you for sticking through the video and doing this flip through with me.